Hello and welcome to my video. My name is Paco, I'm from Madrid in Spain and this is assignment number one for the Introduction to Music Production course on Coursera. The topic I've chosen is visualizing sound and my aim is to provide a practical example of how to use two tools that are mentioned in this part of the course which are the oscillator and the spectrum analyzer. Uh, this is because I believe that at some point studying music production you're going to want to learn at least basic synthesis. So in this lesson I examine the different qualities of a few basic wave shapes. Uh, the tools I'm going to use are all free to download. We have the uh, Noise Maker. It's a synthesizer. Then we have the SM Exoscope Oscilloscope. And we have the Voxengo Span Spectrum Analyzer. Right, so let's talk uh, very briefly about synthesizers. Well, you might have wondered uh, how does uh, how a synthesizer uh, makes its sound. And the way that the synthesizer makes its sound is thanks to oscillators, right? So those would be these two sections we have here, OSC1, OSC2. And uh, oscillation itself is the production of a certain type of waveform, which produces a different sound depending on the shape of the waveform. Let's begin with a sign and let's see what we can see, not just here. Okay, so if I play middle C, that is. That's the sine wave, okay, right? And as you can see, this is quite a smooth tone. It's mild, it's soft, and you see that. I'm going to go down an octave. There you go, you see that the shape it has. Is that of an S. Let's look at the saw wave. Wow, very different. Now look at those harmonics here. It's called a saw wave because it's shaped like the teeth of a saw blade and as you've been able to hear and see it produces a sharp biting tone listen to it again there we go we also have what is called a pulse wave now pulse waves are a variation of the <clears throat> square wave the pulse wave is half as wide as a square wave and has the unique ability to have its width modulated and this is what is called the pulse with modula modulation. So let's listen and hear. There we go. Right, and we also have the triangle wave. It's shaped like a triangle, obviously. And it sounds somewhere between a saw wave and a sine wave. Let's listen. You got a master section of the synthesizer where I can change the amplitude for oscillator too. So this oscillator is what's uh, generating the sound, but obviously I can mix oscillator one. So this one has, for example, a saw wave, right? So let's assume we want to combine both a saw wave and a triangle wave and the oscilloscope and the spectrum analyzer will help me see the result. Let's play and see. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this is um, of these tools, as you can see, can be very uh, useful when you are programming your own sounds.